everybody this is Bonnie and today I want to show you how I made this cute little card not sure which way is the best way but um, this is a great card for a birthday um, a belated Mother's Day gift a thinking of you a get well anything it's a really cute fun card so let's get started so the first thing that we need to do is you need to cut a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter inches wide by 11 inches long. Then you need to score it at five and a half. Okay. Then you need another piece of uh, yellow. This is Lucky Lime. Then you need another piece of Dacidil Delight. And this is four inches by five and a quarter. Now I'm going to take this one over to the um, Sizzix and I am going to emboss it with the tulip emboss it. And I'll be right back. Back. And you can see I put the little tulip design all the way around it. And this is going to apply right here. Well, before we get started on that, you are also going to need another piece of Lucky Lime that is going to be three and an eighth wide by four and three eighths long. Then you are going to need a piece of Whisper White that is going to be three inches wide by four and a quarter inches long. You need to have a one inch square punch. We are going to take and we're going to punch out I'm using the new, that's the new sneak peek in color that will be in the new Stamping Up catalog. If you didn't purchase this last month when you have the opportunity, you will be able to grab it here come June um, 1st. So uh, you're going to put this piece, you need a square, and then you need two red inch or whatever designer series paper but I'm going to tell you from the colors that I'm using so I need two in the red and then I need one in the green and then I need to move it over just a little bit like that to get the stem and there's a little piece hanging off that stem there and that's okay I'm just going to snip it off so there, so now I have the stem, and that was out of some scraps, which is an awesome way to use up some of your scraps from, um, you know, from the papers. So now I'm just going to take and apply a little bit of adhesive on the bottom of the yellow one, and I'm going to put that right about there. Now on this yellow one, after I'd done it, I realized that it was down a little too far than I liked it. So this one I'm going to raise it up a little bit higher. So then we're going to apply another yellow one, or red one, right underneath the yellow one. So I think that that one will go good right about there. I think that gives me enough yellow, I'm not sure. <laughs> then for this one, we're going to cut this one right straight in half. Then we're going to take and we're going to put a little bit of adhesive on it. and this one is going to go right here just like that then we're going to put some adhesive on this one and we're going to put this one right over here and that yellow one probably could have come up a little bit more but I'm going to be okay with it and so then we're going to take the green one and we're going to cut this one right in half before I apply the green one down, I'm going to put a little bit of a snail on the bottom of my stem. Now I want the stem to go underneath, so I'm going to kind of tip my card down just a little bit. If you see how I did that, I tipped it because the tip of this wasn't really secure tight. And then I'm just going to put that underneath. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add what we're calling the leaves. So I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to overlap it a little bit, but I'm going to tip it again right here at this point like I did with the leaf to put it underneath. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, touching the points to each other and just kind of making sure they're centered a little. Put that down there and then I'm going to tip it a little bit like I did before. You see that and it just came right up on top 
So there's that. Now before, I want to run this through the emboss it. Um, I can't think off the top of my head what this is called. I'll make sure I have it posted at the bottom of the screen. But before I run it through it, I want to stamp at the bottom. So at the bottom, I am stamping Happy Birthday. I kind of off-centered it a little bit. It didn't come out that great. I should have stamped it harder, but that's okay. So now I'm going to run this over, and I'm going to run it through the Big Shot. And I'll be right back. I'm back. And if you, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, if it's going to pick it up. But on, whoops, on this one, I had them so that they were getting pushed in the emboss it. On this one, I wanted to try it different, so I had it so the designs were popping out. So it's, it's kind of cool. So now we're going to add this. We're going to put our card together. So we're going to add some adhesive to the back of this card. And we're going to apply it to the green one. Okay. It's like that. Then we are going to take and we're going to add some adhesive to the back of this card. Or the path of Delta Light. And we're going to apply this. Oops. This isn't really quite centered, so I think I'm going to fix it. I didn't see that it was off on the bottom. Okay. There, that's better. Okay. All right. And now we're going to put this one right in the center of the tulips. So it looks like that. And there is our card. And it's something simple, quick, and easy. If you wanted to, you could always add a little bow right there or anything. But just this itself is really, really cute. And I just wanted to show you how to make a simple card using some scrap pieces of paper and just some regular paper that you might have. without. You don't need a lot of stuff, a lot of supplies to make this card. So thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.